hello yet another problem is broken tree or poor problem here say that a tree is broken and it is it touches the ground at some angle and they may ask you to find the height of the tree or the pole so let's see this problem a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle of 30 degree with the with it so i just take this as my tree okay this is the tree so what happens uh, due to the storm the tree breaks here and this falls okay and this fallen part of the tree makes 30 degree angle with the ground so this is the broken part of the tree i hope this picture is clear to you so a tree has broken at this level and it falls down making an angle of elevation here 30 degree okay the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground okay so that is from here to here it is given as 8 meters find the height of the tree so to get the height of the tree the height of the tree is here till here right so what you need to do is you just find this portion okay uh, till where the tree is left out like here the x and also find the broken part that length okay you have to find this one i take it as y so i will have to find out the x as well as the y and add them up so that i get the total length of the tree okay because this is the leftover part of the tree and this side is the broken part so uh, these two together makes the height of the tree right so in this the angle is at 30 degree so this side is the opposite side and this is your edges and just fix this always okay when you are using the trigonometric ratios it is better you fix all these sides like opposite edges and hypotenuse now let me find out the x first so that is opposite and adjacent so i would take tan 30 tan because opposite and adjacent right tan 30 is equals to opposite side opposite is x we are yet to find it out and the adjacent side is 8 so here tan 30 is 1 over root 3 equals to x so here x over 8 now i multiply throughout by 8 so that i get rid of the 8 on my right hand side so this becomes 8 over root 3 which is equal to x and hence you can use your calculator to find the answer or you rationalize the number whichever whatever you would prefer like okay and so i did it with my calculator and that came up to 4.62 i rounded up to two decimal place so that's 4.62 meters so the left over part of the tree is 4.62 meters now let's find out the the broken part for that it is the broken part is the hypotenuse side and the one given is adjacent so i take cos because it is opposite adjacent and hypotenuse so this is cos 30 which is equal to adjacent side which is 8 divided by the hypotenuse that is i have taken it as y multiply throughout by y i get y cos 30 equals 8 now divide throughout by cos 30 so i would get y equals 8 over cos 30 so that is 8 divided by cos 30 is 2 3 by over 2 so i can make it like i can make it multiplication and flip the fraction so i get 2 over root 3 so that is equal to 16 over root 3 find use the calculator rationalize or use a calculator and find the y so your y would be like 
9.24. I just calculated with the calculator. I got 9.24. Rounded off to the nearest digit. So now the height of the tree will be the leftover portion. Uh, height of the leftover portion of the tree plus broken part. So that would be 4.62 add 9.24 that would be 13.86 meters. So the length of the tree, the height of the tree is 13.86. So this is most commonly asked questions during the examination. So I have given you two revision questions. You can just work it out. It is just the same like how we did before. A tree breaks down due to storm and its top touches the ground and makes an angle of 30 degree. If the top of the tree touches the ground 50 meters away from the bottom, find the height of the tree. Okay. And uh, next one is a telephone pole is broken during storm. Its top is stuck at the ground at an angle of 30 degrees and at distance of 90 meters away from the bottom of pole. Find original height of this pole. So it is just the same like how we did previously. I have also given you the answers. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. So it is 60 meters above the ground. So I just take this, this as my kite. Okay, this is my kite. It flies 60 meters above the ground means so this length is this height is 60 right the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to the point on the ground so let this be the point okay it is tied here the string is tied here the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 so this angle is 60 so that is also is given whatever they've given you just mark down in the picture Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. So there is no slack in the string. So it is a straight uh, string over here. Okay. You need to find its length. So I just take this as my x value. Okay. So what is given? Given is the opposite side. Right. Of 60 degree. And to be found out is your hypotenuse side. So this is going to be opposite and hypotenuse so you are using sine okay this time it is sine so it is sine 60 sine 60 is opposite opposite is 60 meters divided by the hypotenuse so sine 60 is root 3 over 2 in the other video clipping i have told you how to find out these basic angles ratios values right just use those tricks and you can find out that sine 60 is root 3 over 2 or if you are using the calculator, well and good, you can find out sine 60 and see that the calculator is in degree mode. Okay, Find the value of sine 60, you get in some decimal, even that is okay. Divided by x, right? Now, I, tell, I multiply throughout by x. So what happens? I multiply throughout by x. So this would be root 3 over 2 times x equals 60. This, six, this x will cancel, right? Now to bring down the root 3 over 2 to the other side, so I divide throughout by root 3 over 2. So that would be x, the root 3 over three, 2 will get cancelled, is equal to 60 divided by root 3 over 2. So this division to make the calculation more easier, I just convert it to multiplication and the fraction I would flip. So that 2 over root 3, just do this calculation or rationalize. That is left to you. If you want, you can rationalize or find the value. Okay. You can use the calculator and find the value. So the previous problem I did with the calculator and I gave you the answer in decimals. Just uh, this one I would show you like how to rationalize this. So this was the answer you got, right? So you don't stop with root 3 at the bottom. 
at the denominator so multiply both numerator and the denominator by root 3 okay so you would get 120 root 3 on top and at the bottom the root 3 and root 3 becomes 3 okay so in the next step what happens uh, I get my x is equal to this 120 and root 3 I can can I mean 3 I can cancel right so this goes 40 times so I can just stop like this 40 times root 3 is my answer meters right because since it is the length we are talking about it is in some units that is meter here you can either stop here or multiply the 40 times root 3 value and get the answer hope you understood these problems these are commonly asked problems just go through understand have a nice day. Bye.